Hey, it's Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and I'm gonna show you an upgraded lat release technique. And I say lats because we're in the general region of the latissimus dorsi muscle, but we're really just going after the side body fascia here around the lats, the intercostal, the ribs, the rear deltoid, the armpit a little bit. Um, we're kind of getting into all of that and I really don't care about naming muscles per se. It's just giving you kind of a direction for what you're aiming for if you are someone who likes to know the anatomy. Uh, the reason I've decided to do an upgrade here is I released a lat and rear deltoid video a long time ago. It was one of the original videos I put out. I think of like five videos when I was just kind of getting started and experimenting. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I don't even think I entered. I don't even remember if I introduced the video. Um, it was inside of a blog post and the blog post was meant to describe what you were going to do in the video. And then the video showed you, um, but the video wasn't really a standalone. Um, and it's still the only lat video that I have here on YouTube and Mobility Mastery, the blog. So definitely time for an upgrade. Um, I'm going to be using the Lana or Ohm Roller here. It is my new favorite foam roller still right now. Um, so we'll link below where, where you can buy one of those below this video. If they're still around, I know they're a very small company and um, sometimes sell out and production is challenging, um, but they're made in Thailand uh, and they're just really beautiful and I love them. So uh, that's in case you're wondering, that's the foam roller I'm using right now. Um, but you can use any foam roller as long as it's not knobby or really groove, grooved, right? Like knobs and grooves and, you know, like st sticks poking out of it. They're inventing all kinds of weird torture devices now um, and calling them foam rollers. Uh, the reason I'm not a fan of that, especially for this, is we're on very sensitive tissue here. We're going near the ribs. Um, I'm really not a fan of, of digging in um, with like multi-pronged uh, you know, things. Um, I like to get a broad compression of one spot, focus on that one spot with movement and then move on to the next spot. And you can do that with a foam roller. So, um, you can use hard density, soft density. It doesn't matter as long as it's not knobby or groovy. Um, and yeah, you could just follow along, but I want you to know that this is not meant to be, um, like a sequence. Like I don't, I don't, advocate that you do it exactly like I do. Um, I'm going to show you options here and you need to feel into your body and your tissue and figure out what your body needs because it might actually need something completely different than my body. So my goal is always to help you learn to work on yourself and not even need me anymore. Maybe you're even out there on your own inventing new techniques and new ways or using new movements to get into certain areas of your body. Uh, so what you're paying attention to here, what I want you to pay attention to is sensation, reactivity, breathing, being present to those sensations and your breath. Um, and then you know, using really slow movement to figure out the best movements for your body. Um, and I also want to say it's not just your body, but it's your body right now. <laughs> because um, one of the reasons I'm even doing this upgrade is I recently came to my lat and rear deltoid area and did a bunch of stuff that I've never done before based on necessity. So my body had changed what I had been used to discovering here, what I thought was my pattern, my body. Um, it was going through something different based on my lifestyle right now and things that are happening in my body. So you always want to check in and let your sensations guide you. So if it's tender, if it's sore, if it's intense, if you would call it painful, then it indicates unhealthy tissue, um, maybe unhealthy fascia or maybe unhealthy fascia lymph and you know, that superficial fascia. Um, we are near the armpit here. So it could definitely be some of that superficial fascia involved with this one, as far as like lymph and toxicity go. So that would be something to pay attention to. And tender is really the, the word, the key that always seems to come up when there's a superficial fascia component. Um, so if it feels really tender to you, I invite you to slow down and even more than normal, 
um, just breathe into that sensation, um, really explore with slow movement instead of releasing fascia, how you can move through the tenderness and actually metabolize it and get it moving through that lymph and superficial fascia to actually move out of your body. Um, so with that said, here are your options. So you're going to want to start on your side on the foam roller. So where I've been hanging out here, pretty comfortable. Like I could hang out here all day, you know, it's not that intense. Um, but I'm like ready to go find something right now. I'm in a position to actually go find it. So you want to get into a position where your back leg is resting on the floor because you're going to use it to actually lift up to add weight. If that is something you're ready for. Um, you certainly don't have to. Your other leg can kind of stay on the floor to start with. And then whatever side you're working on, of course, you're on that side. So right now I'm on my left side. I'm gonna be using my left arm through some of this as well. And what I'm gonna start with here, um, I'm closer to my armpit right now than kind of like my, my real lat area. Like when I lean this way, I'm in my boob. So that's just something to notice. <laughs> um, but this is a decent place to start exploring. So you want to like lean all the way back and then I'm noticing, oh, when I do that, like I'm actually getting into that rear deltoid like that's a little tender. So I always advocate exploring first, hunting out tissue that's tender and tight and restricted first, um, like map your terrain, then go after it um, and then continue to map and hunt as you go. Um, so right now I'm just kind of like going, okay, I'm fully aware there's something in my rear deltoid that I probably need to go after. Then I might, you know, move the roller down a little bit. Um, now I'm more kind of in my ribby area. Um, on me, this is not bad. Historically, it never really has been. Um, but you could try bringing your elbow in and seeing if that changes anything. Kind of rocking back and forth, you know, across the roller. You want to make sure you have enough roller to roll back onto. Um, so this would be actually getting into more of the lat as I get, you know, roll backwards right now. We're on like the precipice of it where it kind of, you know, it's like the side of your body and your back, um, right. It's those big muscles, uh, on either side of your spine. Um, but they kind of come around a little bit into the ribby area. Um, and that's the part that we're really contacting here. Um, so it's like, okay, I kind of know what I'm working with now. If, at least for these two spots, if in this ribby area or back here, there's something for you, then I encourage you to use back and forth as one movement to kind of get in there. Now this might be more intercostals for you than lats per se, but you could also then try lifting up and then doing some arm movement. So my favorite arm movement for getting into the lats is a bending and kind of loading till your arm hits the foam roller and then a reaching and then a rotating to palm down, bending palm up, reaching to palm down. Some version of this I love because we bring it in, we stretch it and by rotating it, you're kind of twisting it and almost wringing out that tissue like a rag, like a dirty dish rag. <laughs> Um, and then I also love kind of rolling on the roller as I do that. Um, so that's what you're going to want to focus on as far as like that lat stuff goes. But there's another thing you can do here that is, I think for most of us, even more impactful though, for sure, I have seen a lot of people need the actual lat part of this and that kind of intercostal ribby stuff. So if that's you, go to town on it, spend, I don't know, three minutes or so at least um, kind of getting in there. Now I, I do, you know, advocate 30 to 40 seconds per spot and then resting. So if, if you find that this is actually really intense for you and you're finding it hard to breathe, there's a lot of reactivity um, and you need to take a break after 30 to 40 seconds, do it. Um, I can stay on this for three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, um, just kind of exploring it all because I'm totally familiar with the sensations. Even when it's really intense, I can breathe through it. I can be present for it. I'm not dissociating. I'm not reacting. And my nervous system isn't kicking in to protect me. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. If you need a break, take a break. Um, but where I want you to go next is into this rear kind of deltoid 
posterior armpit area. So I'm, you can hopefully see, I'm definitely in the armpit area, but I'm leaning backwards quite a bit. And then you've got all kinds of things you can do here. Like, oh, like that, ooh. So what I did, I'm just trying to like load that spot into the roller and then I'm isolating it and using movement here. That's like really good. That's excruciating. <laughs> um, so that's where all my stuff is, is back in that like rear deltoid area. Now um, I'm angling the roller a little bit more to get a bit more into that um, almost like my triceps attachment kind of armpit stuff. Um, that was a little bit too much. There we go. Uh, so you could definitely try that too. Ooh. Um, you could try, you know, kind of hanging out, rotating through any of these ranges of motion, right? But what you want to play with is what is your torso doing? And what is your arm doing? <laughs> So they're gonna to work together to find different spots and you have a lot of options depending, right? So you've got hanging out back here, hanging out up here, rocking back and forth with your torso as you kind of do arm movement, right? You could combine them all. Um, but when I was doing this the other day, not for the purposes of pain relief per se, or even fascia release per se, but opening up the superficial fascia to increase blood circulation and venous flow um, around my armpit area. I was combining it with a chest one um, or kind of pec minor serratus anterior. I had to really like get lean in and it was super obvious where those tender spots were because it's so, it, like, it sucks so bad. Um, I could breathe with it, I could be with it, but it was really intense. So that's always your clue that there's something there. So again, these are prompts for you as a foundation, a starting place for exploring movement to figure out what your body needs. And then if you can really tune in and say, oh my gosh, I think my triceps like really need, there's like something in my triceps then go to your tricep technique, right? On a foam roller. So I have that um, here on Mobility Mastery, right? But you could go right into it from here, um, but you could then explore like that, that whole armpit region. So what I most want you to just keep in mind is there is no formula for, you know, a perfect sequence of techniques I'm ever gonna walk you through that, you know, everyone should do. It's again, just foundational, it's like, I'm giving you um, creative license. Like I, here's a starting place for you. And then I want you to figure out what works for your body from this starting place. So um, there you go. Uh, I just, again, I want you to keep in mind rotation. Um, don't forget that you have lifting up. So you can lift up into that rear deltoid too, not just the lat. You've got rolling on the roller you've got arm movement and you've got torso movement. Um, and then you could change the, the angle of that roller. So there you go. That is my upgraded lat and rear deltoid side body fascia release technique for you. Uh, definitely give it a try and let me know um, what happens for you. I highly encourage you to not just go after that lat, but that rear deltoid area. I think it's a highly neglected area for most of us. Um, and let me know what your results are in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you and I know your experience is going to inspire other people to give this a try as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.